In today's video, we will learn everything about the treasure mushroom events. They are a very good source of spirit charms and needed for some collections. And if you are very lucky, you can get some very expensive rewards. Treasure mushrooms are invisible by default to all players. But if you have the Nohawk Stealth Detection Mastery, you can see them and start the event. When you finish the event, you will get 1 spirit shard, 1 piece of rare unidentified gear, some map currency, and an item needed for some achievements called Invisible Mushroom Spore. There are a total of 9 variations for this item, one for each elite specialization achievement. You can get any of them as a random reward, but the priority will be for the class you did the event on. For example, if you did the event while playing Reaper, the priority will be for the item needed to finish the Reaper achievement. You will only get those items if you already started the achievements they are needed for. The last reward is the invisible shoes, and you can sell it on the trading post for a very good profit. But this item has a very very low chance to drop, and you will only get it if you are super lucky. The treasure mushroom events can be found in Verdant Brink, north of this waypoint, in Auric Basin, Close to the East Watch Pylon, in Tangled Depths, from the Nohawk Waypoint, take the Pit Grub Nohawk Wallow and you will find it very close, but you can only use that Nohawk Wallow if you have the required mastery for it. In Dragon Stand, there are three Treasure Mushroom events, each one of them will give you separate rewards. They will only spawn after you do the meta successfully. You can find it close to the Northern Forward Camp Waypoint, Central Advanced Camp Waypoint, and Southern Advanced Camp Waypoint. You can also find it in Bloodstone Fen at the ground level around this area, and in Draconic Mons, from the Ancient Hollow Waypoint, take few bouncing mushrooms, and then glide up to the next level, and it will be there. You can only get the rewards we mentioned earlier once per day from each treasure mushroom event. And if you missed one of the events, you will need to wait a maximum of 10 minutes for the next treasure mushroom. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next guide.